Yo guys, it is Ustas here back with another video. After a long wait, finally we have it here. The Nokia 3310-2017. The Prodigy returned. Nokia 3310, the previous version, is a legendary device. It created a market breakthrough when that device was launched in the early 2000s. It was a dream for the 90s kids and only the 90s kids know how it felt to hold Nokia 3310 back then. And Nokia planned to reboot that legendary device this year and now it's right in front of me. So this video is just an unboxing and a preview of the Nokia 3310 and I will be posting the in-depth review of this same device later this week. So first let's have a look at the things on the box. So in the front of the box you get a clean nice look of the bright orange variant of the Nokia 3310. Not much on the box so now it's unboxing time. Let's cut this box open and see what are the things you get along with the device itself. Cutting open the box you get a clean look of the Nokia 3310 itself and when you go underneath that top layer you get the charger, some paperwork and battery and earphones along with the Nokia 3310. This charger is not a classic Nokia single pin charger. This charger is a micro USB charger and along with that charger you get a 1200 mAh battery and I haven't tested the battery performance yet so I cannot vouch for its performance but still 1200 mAh is enough for that little device and along with the charger and the battery you get a pair of earphones that's all you get along with the Nokia 3310 and now let's get deep into the device so here are the standard specifications of the device this device has a 2.4 inches TFT display and this device is powered by a 1200 milliamp hour battery along with that you get a 2 megapixel rear camera along with the flash and going into the storage section of this device, this has an internal memory of about 16 megs. This also supports the addition of a micro SD card. Talking about the connectivity of this device, this has a dual SIM slot and both the SIM slots support no 3G, no 4G, just 2G. Talking about the build and design of this mobile. Nokia tried hard to maintain the nostalgic old look of the Nokia 3310. They managed to make this device as handy as possible. When you boot up the device, it plays the classic Nokia sound but one thing it lacks is that connecting people Nokia boot animation. I miss that a lot. After switching on, it lets you set your primary language, your connectivity settings and other things and after setting all those things and accepting the license agreement, it lets you into the device. The display looks absolutely stunning. The display to the body ratio is minimal and it's a good thing that Nokia has managed to put that 2.4 inches display into this little device. The buttons are backlit and the brightness of the backlit LED can be modified inside the settings section. The the device comes with a micro USB port so transferring files will be easier and along with that port you also get a 3.5mm audio jack on the top. It's not an iPhone 7 so it still has a 3.5mm audio jack. So this is just a preview so I can't explain or I can't complain about things in this video so I'll be posting a separate video where I'll be talking about the performance of the device, the interface of the device, the battery backup timing, how the display performs how the keys performs and lots and lots of other things and this wraps up this whole video this is just an overview of the Nokia 3310 and having my hands on this legendary device brings back some childhood memories and as always thanks for watching stay tuned because the review video will be posted within this week so stay subscribed and i will hopefully meet you guys and girls in the next one till then it's baba from 80s stars bye